that the shooting in Colorado was very suspicious on multiple grounds. Even though I am a former Marine Corps officer, I have been supportive of gun control most of my adult life. That changed for me, however, with the Bush-Cheney administration when I realized that our own government posed a greater threat to our liberty at home than the occasional nutty shooter as we seem to have in Colorado. From all accounts, this guy was a model citizen. He was an exceptional student of high academic achievement. He was a Ph.D. candidate with no lawful entanglements beyond having received a speeding citation. No screening or background check would have limited his access to weapons. But he also was equipped with what has been estimated to be as much as 20,000 of very sophisticated armaments, body armor, and the like, which is very strange. Uh, Many people don't realize that the Department of Homeland Security is acquiring 475 million rounds of 40 caliber hollow point ammunition which is not even permissible for use in warfare under the Geneva Conventions, or that 30,000 drones have been authorized to conduct surveillance on the American people, and that hundreds of concentration camps exist and are being staffed today. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize the mathematics is highly disturbing. If it were not for 80 million armed Americans, we would probably already be occupying them. What would have happened here in Colorado if a few of those attending the Batman film had only been armed? The, the, the solution, I think, is not to take weapons away from the American people, but it looks as though this is supposed to be giving a great incentive for Obama to sign a United Nations small arms treaty that would curtail access to weapons even here in the United States, which would be a blatant violation of the Second Amendment and cannot possibly be constitutional. But where this movie event appears to be an exquisitely timed occasion to promote and justifying his doing just that.